Hello everyone, my name is Kinetic and welcome to Umbra. This is gameplay video of a prototype build of the game, which is like pre-pre-alpha of this upcoming ARPG Diablo-inspired hack and slash loot hunting game by a very small development team called Solarfall Games. Uh, crew of only a, like six guys or something like that is putting this game together but as you can see what they've done is really really impressive stuff for such a small team it's a very beautiful game it has a lot of potential and when the kickstarter campaign started some months ago i as soon as i saw it and i saw like some of these trailer clips that you're watching here i immediately backed it because i knew that i wanted to be a part of this and uh to see it happen and it's been a, already a very uh, amazing journey for this game with only a few guys working on it They're, they've created a, a very fantastic looking game i think already and thanks to the successful kickstarter program and reaching several stretch goals not only will Umbra feature a, an amazing single player experience but also some very fun multiplayer experiences too and some other really nice features for example a, a deep crafting system that not only affects the statistical power of equipment and weapons but also the visuals as well there's also going to be player housing and much much more this game has a ton of potential keep in mind like I said that this is a very early prototype of the game so this is only just an appetizer of things to come. Alright everybody, so welcome to Umbra. As you can see from the visuals here, Umbra is a very, very beautiful looking game. A combination of the Cry Engine with the Kathera AI system is definitely going to help Umbra live up to its claims of being a next-gen hack and slash experience. Fantastic looking animations, character models, textures, lighting, effects, physics, pretty much this game has everything visually to uh, to take it to the next level. Before I start getting into the deeper aspects of it, let's take a quick look at the UI. It's very familiar if you've played games like Diablo or Path of Exile, for example. We've got a health globe system over here. We've got a rage system, our potions for life, for stamina. Here are our skills mapped to left click, right click, one, two, three, four. We have a stamina system and also a mana resource. You can take a look at the various skills that they've got available so far in the prototype by pressing S. We've got the brutality skills here, curse, earth, fire, frost, lightning, necromancy, shadows, and umbra skills. I can change these if I want to. For this demonstration video, I'm just going to stick with what they've already got mapped to our keys here. Alright, so I'm making my way over to the bounty mission that's available here in the prototype. Umber will feature a variety of different game modes, including but not limited to a story campaign, multiplayer co-op modes, and things like that. There's going to be some very interesting things to do here in Umbra, including just simply exploration itself. Solarfall has said that with the day and night cycles, it will change the type of enemies that will be in the areas, and exploration is something that they really want to encourage for players to do here in the game. Just before I get into the bounty, let's... Uh, take a look at the simple mer well maybe a little bit too simple of a merchant here he doesn't really have much but um, I guess I'll forgive him since he is a prototype merchant but uh, this does remind me I want to do a couple things I've got a helmet here I want to put on I've got a right shoulder pad now I've got two shoulder pads that's pretty cool they have uh, multiple shoulder pads for different stats maybe you want to equip pretty much everything that you put on your character has uh, some kind of visual uh, effect on your character as you can see taking and putting back on the helmet for example there there's a also some really cool weapon effects i'll probably show you later also in regards to like a class system here in umbra there actually is no class system whatever you're wearing and whatever comp combination of armor pieces and weapons skills and stuff like that is your class you can make up whatever you want to to play as for either your male or female that was a stretch goal made in the uh, the kickstarter campaign there is going to be a male and a female character that you can play here in umbra let's speak to our uh, our bounty npc his name is um well he's just a simple as you can see he's a simple 
placeholder NPC. It's not really going to be the NPC in the final version of the game. Hello, prototype uh, NPC. Let's call you Bob. And Bob just tells me, hey, start the bounty. All right, Bob. Whatever you say, buddy. So we enter the portal and enter our randomly generated dungeon. All right, we are inside of our dungeon for this bounty. The bounty objective is a simple hunt quest. We're looking for a particular NPC to uh, to take down some kind of baddie is roaming around here. Something I want to show you guys. Check this out. You can turn your camera at will and face any direction that you want, which is a really nice touch here in Umbra. I really like that. This randomly generated dungeon certainly is random. Every time I've gone through this, the uh, the holes, the stairs, pretty much everything is um, just randomly positioned around in ways different from how it was previously. And every once in a while, I'll also find like some really interesting kind of uh, piece, like a waterfall or something like that that wasn't here before. Maybe we'll see something like that. Maybe we'll see some legendaries too. Yeah, there are legendary items here and the prototype, which is really nice. We've also got some items dropping here. Let's see, kind of some kind of magic shoulder. Also, you can see over here on the right-hand side, whenever uh, I've gained enough experience, I can simply click on the plus sign to level up my skills. What else we got? Some kind of demon sword over here. Let's get rid of this guy. Left-clicking, just a basic attack. Ooh, a demon axe. That sounds fun, too. Let's take a look at that demon axe. Oh yeah. I like that. Actually, you know what? We can do even better. This dual wield, hell yeah. Love the uh, the visual effects on these weapons. Its effects is uh, is a good topic here for this uh, this first video because it's been mentioned in the uh, the developers' videos how they talk about how not just visually but your um, your skills will have a uh, variety of effects on the environment, on your enemies, the, the different elements, and how you combine them. Will uh, will have some really interesting results. Like for example, I can um, I can hit enemies with a freezing attack, and then after they've been frozen, then I can hit them with a physical attack. And because of the, the freezing, they're made more brittle, so they take more physical damage from melee attacks. Enemies in water will take additional damage from lightning and things like that. Really, really fun stuff. Also, by the way, the soundtrack that you're listening to, the music here in this video, is not the official track of the game. I've decided to add my own music for uh, for atmosphere and fun here in this gameplay vid. There wasn't actually any music yet put into the, the prototype. Get some new sword, swords and stuff down here. Axes. Let's take a look. Here we go. Something like that. That looks totally badass. I <laughs> love it. Oh yeah. Look at the way the lighting affects the armor too. That's really, really amazing looking. This game is certainly beautiful, but uh, beyond that, and what really got me to uh, to get hooked and to support them on their Kickstarter campaign was the uh, the promise of all the features that they are adding to this game: player housing, the cooperative multiplayer modes, the amazing oh nice we got a legendary, the amazing looking crafting system that not only changes the the statistical benefits of your armor and weapons, but also deep deep details and how your weapons and stuff will actually look when you've crafted them. Let's take a look at our demon axe, huh? Where is that? Oh, here it is. It's uh, some kind of legendary, but it doesn't necessarily have legendary stats attached to it yet. That's alright, I will still take it. Let's put that here, shall we? We can put our other axe back in the other hand, because two axes is just incredibly awesome there we go now we've got dual wielding axes love it 
I'm having way too much fun with the uh, the itemization in, in what is simply a, a prototype of the game. And this would be a dead end. But we do have some enemies spawning here that want to eat my legendary axe. Take it. Take it. You love it. How about some Umber Ray for you? <laughs> if you're wondering why everything is so easy to kill, the um, I'm sure that it's just because they wanted to uh, just make it available for us to be able to enjoy playing around with the skills and for them to be able to, to test various functions. There are five difficulty ranges that I saw when getting ready to uh, to jump into this bounty, ranging from easy, to normal, hard, something like Delta and extreme difficulties. It's going to be intense, man. And this guy freaking knocking me down. Get out of my face, man. How about some fire? Yeah. Love it. Well, I think that might be our target for this bounty. Could possibly be. He's definitely in some kind of elite by the looks of it, and he's poisoning me too. You can see a little bit of uh, destruction happening with the uh, the environment as I cast my spells. Aha! Bounty successful, as I thought. Okay, so once your bounty is complete, if you want, you can uh, can simply head back. I think I'm gonna mess around a little bit more here while I have the uh, the opportunity and my legendary. Demon Axe. Oh my god, I hit the jackpot, baby. Look at that. Seriously? Three freaking Demon Axes now? Where the How am I gonna wield three Demon Axes? Like, put one in my butt and just, like, spin around, like, barbarian style in a whirlwind attack? <laughs> oh my god. That is amazing. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Nope. Denied. I don't think so. You can have some legendary demon axe. How about that? Oh, my goodness. Too much fun, man. This prototype is really, really good. Um, it does glitch out, bug up every once in a while, but um, for the most part, it's a, a good demonstration, I think. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it for the demonstration of the bounty mission here in the prototype for Umbra. Again, being that it's a prototype, this is very simply like a bare bone experience here of the fundamental aspects of what you can expect to see visually and mechanically from the features here in Umbra. You can still participate in helping to fund Umbra even though the Kickstarter is finished. Visit the official website. I'll have a link to that in the description of this video. Check it out. They've got a lot of different
different uh, monetization options for you to to choose from that will give you access to the game once it's released or maybe even as early as the the prototype if you so wish it there's a bunch of other things there definitely check it out i highly recommend it umbra is shaping up already to be a fantastic game and is expected to release sometime mid to late 2016 um, yes, it's going to take that long, being that this is only a prototype, but I have access, as you can see, to the prototype. I'll have alpha and beta and tons more videos coming up for Umbra, gameplay and breakdowns of all sorts of different things, especially as we get closer to its launch. For now, I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support these Umbra gameplay videos here on the channel, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. My name is Kinetic. And I'll see you next time.